All right, I'm pretty excited about what I'm working on tonight. Finally getting back to this after, you know, holidays and vacation and all that stuff. Um, I have the brake booster and it came in a kit. I bought the leads, um, or lead, I should say, lead brakes. Came in, uh, in a kit. Um, you got the booster, the um, master cylinder. <clears throat> um, this is like your proportioning valve, some lines. You also have a kit in there to uh, bench bleed um, the uh, master cylinder. And it also came with, which I wanted to show you guys if you see what it would look like, a pedal. Oh, I don't know if you can really see it down there. Um, so I just set the pedal in there. Hold on, I'll grab it. <clears throat> and it even came with the pedal. Um, so I'm in the middle of getting ready to install the master cylinder. Um, instructions, of course, um, tell you to use this template. Uh, and basically, um, mine was a um, manual brakes and converted to power. <coughs> um, a couple things like this hole right here, this hole right here need to be drilled out. Those are um, pretty obvious and fairly simple. <clears throat> this dotted line is where the manual brakes um, opening is for the, um, the push rod here. Um, but we need this circle for the power brakes. Um, so it tells you to hook this template up to the firewall, marked everything. Um, but <clears throat> I hate paper templates. So what I did is this, this guy was on here. Um, uh, and so I just popped that off. You can see it's kind of um, indented. Um, so when you put it on there, you have to have it um, something. It's uh, like bolts that are long enough to reach. Um, so at any rate, um, I popped that on there with two bolts, <coughs> like so. That's right there. And then I made that mark right there. And you can see right there is my mark for the um, one top bolt that I need to drill out. Can't see it real well. Uh, let me turn the light on. Real. Okay, that's better. So, like I said, that's the top bolt. This is the mark I made for what I'm going to have to cut out for the uh, push rod. That bottom one you can see is just like a punch out. So I'm going to just drill that out. Um, but it uh, probably could be punched. Um, I'm not sure on that. I can't tell. It might just be you have to drill it. <clears throat> These were actually um, uh, factory modifications when they put power brakes on your Mustangs as well. So if you have power brakes already and you're just putting a different power brake on, you won't have to do any of this. But uh, since I'm going from manual to power, I have to uh, do these modifications to the firewall. And then you can pop the um, master, or actually the brake booster on there first, bleed the master cylinder, put the master cylinder on. Um, I am also going to need a proportioning valve. I don't have one. Um, I got rid of a lot of junk that was on this car, a lot of just old junk. Um, and I lost some stuff as well that was uh, when I had some stuff stolen. But um, the uh, brake, um, brake stuff I took off, and I think it was all pretty rusted inside because the fluid had never been changed. So, um, at any rate, I'm going to go ahead and. Uh, make these modifications to the firewall and hopefully be ready to uh, put that uh, booster on. One thing I didn't mention is uh, I have a couple of advantages of doing this um, on my end because um, I've already pulled out this steering um, uh, column a couple of times so I'm going to pull that out again to get it out of the way. The, um, just above the steering column is a there's a uh, brake uh, support um, that's in there. I'm going to pull that out as well since I have room in here to do so. Uh, yeah. So I uh, pull the column out just above that. You can see that black thing up there. That's the, the brake support. Uh, I'm going to pull that out and then I'm going to do all my cutting and stuff because it will be a lot um, easier and not have to worry about busting stuff. Alright, I'm going to start out by drilling the holes. 
through these two holes at least. Stick a couple of few over here onto the bell housing, but 
I'll get a magnet and kind of clean that up. <coughs> All right. So next, that one down there at the bottom. Let me see if I can grab that one. See if I can figure out how to find a spot for this that I can. That looks all right. Let's trip on this one. Be coming in straight. There we go. Pretty good. And this one, yeah, I can't really see that way, huh? So I'm coming in upside down with my drill. And this one's only got one layer, it's not the two layers of metal um, on it, so hopefully it'll be a little easier. Yep, right through. All right, so now that the easy part's done, we need to get a sawzall in there and get that other part cut. All right, so. The thought is I should be able to get in here like this and then cut around. Wish me luck. <laughs> yep. That's not happy. I'm using this as my light as well, so I kind of need to have it there. You'll be able to see very well, but give it a shot.
Kind of got some uh, sharp pieces right here. This is still sticking out. I still have to trim this a little bit. something so trim right there actually See, it's not straight right here. I'll probably have to file this a little bit. Definitely want to take all these burrs off. Um, not the best work, but it should do. All right, so this is the um, brake pedal support that I took out from above the um, steering column there. Um, and a couple of things on it. Um, one is that this is a manual support. and a manual brake pedal, I should say, not a power brake pedal. Um, those mount right here. Now, uh, it's a little bit shorter pedal than this um, power uh, this uh, power brake pedal. Um, and so there should be another hole right here. Uh, from what I read, the 68 through the 70 Mustangs already had them pre-drilled. Apparently, I either got an early 68 Mustang or uh, somebody swapped this out. Uh, because I don't have a hole there, so uh, I'm going to um, 
throw out the three pull. Um, I want to find a template and try and get an idea of exactly where it goes. I can see it on here um, in this picture. Uh, so I have a pretty good idea. Um, I think if we're in the ballpark, we'll be okay. Um, and then um, the other thing I have to modify on this is these four holes have threads in them. So I need to drill those out um, to allow these studs to go through. And then we're going to mount the nuts on the back side. In the uh, manual, um, you just screw them in from the other side, from the firewall side. Um, so there's a couple modifications I got to do. And then uh, we'll get to mounting it. Okay, so I got these drills, or these holes drilled out. But my in the ballpark for this, this hole was no bueno. So what I got is put the pedal in here and I ballparked it from the outside and you can see I totally missed. I can't push it down anymore because it's basically at the end. And so I'm gonna have to get a new bracket that's already pre-drilled for the um, power brakes. All right, I didn't film any of this because I was cussing the whole time. <laughs> so um, putting in the brake booster, um, found that I uh, wouldn't go in all the way on this side, um, on the driver's side, because the uh, master cylinder for the um, <clears throat> uh, clutch master cylinder was in the way. Um, so I tilted it, um, but I wasn't really happy with the way it came in to the firewall and the way it came into the firewall the uh, clutch master cylinder here. You can see it's not really lined up very well with the hole and the backing plate. So, um, so I'm afraid it's gonna affect the pedal um, and maybe cause it to, um, you know, get hung up or something or and eventually damage the master cylinder itself. Um, so I reached out to Silver Sport they're always super responsive um, and they told me what they did is they actually took the uh, master cylinder here and flipped it which makes sense because the bolt um, over on this side is really I think what was kind of in the way the top bolt is kind of off to the passenger side there so if we flip it that should bring the bolt out here to this side I'll probably have to drill another hole I know I will um, and another hole on the bottom um, and that should just let it sit straight, let that uh, push rod go straight into that firewall and right into that uh, center of that opening, allowing the uh, clutch pedal to operate smoothly. Um, so I get to take all this off again and flip it, put it back together and see how it works. Okay, so I went ahead and flipped the master cylinder. And so what I had to do was actually um, take the master cylinder off this uh, mounting plate here, this mounting bracket, whatever you want to call it, um, and then uh, flip it on the, on the mounting bracket itself. And I just loosely put the um, booster in there. And you can see it's now it's flush against the firewall, which is what we want. It's a really tight squeeze down there, but it'll do. I'm looking in here that uh, hard to see over there that um, push rod comes into that mass or into that um, hole in that backing plate a lot cleaner there so um, I don't I'm not as worried about it hanging up and ruining the master cylinder that little bastard right there that was what was keeping me from installing my brake lines so the distribution block that I got from CJ ponies had a three-eighths inch um, in inlet for the front brakes. Um, so that guy there, that's the that's the inlet from the master cylinder, and that one was okay. But the outlets were also three-eighths inch. And you can see I got my front brake. This is the, the front driver's side. Um, 
I put this on here already, uh, but um, this is a half inch. So I needed a half inch to three eighths um, adapter for both the uh, um, driver side and passenger side. Passenger side's under here. That's the one I'm holding in my hand though. Um, so I'll put that on there and um, tighten it all up and then I'll have the front brakes installed at least. All right, and so on to the next problem. I got the rear brake line kind of ran just loosely in there. Um, just kind of have it sitting on the um, uh, support, the transition uh, transmission support um, beam. And so it kind of sitting up there, which um, it's nice it sits there. But you can see it doesn't line up with the distribution block at all. Um, this was probably the stock location of like maybe the 68 distribution block or the 68 um, rear brake uh, drum might have just gone straight into the um, master cylinder I'm not sure um, on the old drums but um, since I'm converting to disc I have the drums and the distribution block um, I have this proportioning valve and so what I'm going to try and do is I'm going to try and uh, bend the line over this direction and maybe if I can follow the rail here and then hopefully bring it up high enough that it can get to the uh, bottom. This is the out port um, on this uh, proportioning valve. And then I have another line that I can run from here to the bottom. I just have to bend that as well. But I gotta go get a um, tube bender to do all that. I'm going to backtrack a little bit here because I went through some of the other videos and I'm stitching them together, getting them ready, and realized that um, I didn't talk about a few things. Mainly, um, first of all, I guess, um, I didn't talk about um, how I finished up the booster and the uh, master cylinder for the uh, clutch. So um, what I did is I ended up flipping this back over, um, putting it in upright. And I loosened it up on that end, put in the master or the booster, and then um, tighten that back down. Everything kind of cinched up. I mean, it's in there tight. It's they're not going to even be able to fit anything between them. But um, the pedals work well. Um, they they go up and down where they're supposed to, and uh, that's what really matters. So um, that's in there. The other thing I was going to talk about. Uh, we talked. I did talk about the uh, distribution block, but I was talking about getting the rear brakes to it, but um, forgot to mention that we actually need a uh, proportioning valve. That proportioning valve is up under here. Um, I purchased this bracket from CJ Pony, and it's specifically for um, placing the proportioning valve under the master cylinder. Um, so you see it mounts to the bolts here, um, and when you put the master cylinder on, tighten it down, it'll all be um, snug in there. Um, so you have your um, distribution block to the inlet of the proportioning valve. There's the um, knob to turn to, you know, release or in increase pressure, and there's the uh, outlet. And then I um, connected that. Whew, where is that? Okay. Um, this is a tube that I got out of like AutoZone or something like that, and um, bent it. And then I put a um, Union here, and then this is the pre-bent tube that I got from stainless steel. Um, so I got the rear and the two fronts, um, and then there's also this rear that's going to go on the um, axle, uh, but I still need to get the rear end um, and um, put that in. So I'm going to get the rear end, put that in, um, finish the um, mounting the uh, line that goes to the back. Bench bleed the master cylinder and mount that on. Um, so it's all the just piddly stuff that's um, slowing me down, slowing me down on making these videos. Um, and hopefully I'm getting it at least so it helps somebody.